So let's keep working out the oxidation number. So we just reviewed that nitrate has a charge of negative 1. Notice that we don't bother trying to figure out the individual charges here. We just learned the ion as a group. Chloride, we can figure it out from the periodic table. No, no, no. We mistake. <laughs> oh. Then it's going to be minus 1, and it's not going to be plus 5. It's going to be then plus. Okay, it's a good thing we went through that. Uh, what mistake did you guys make? Did you put the wrong... We put minus 3 above the nitrate. Uh, yeah, there's only one nitrate. Yeah. So there's not a negative 1 charge on each oxygen. There's a negative right. 1 charge on the entire the ion. ion. Okay. But we know the ethylene diamines are neutral from that table. So what's the cobalt's charge? Plus 3. Plus 3. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, these take some practice to, uh, to get right. So this would be a plus 3 charge. You might be testing on this directly, but you also need this for some of the more advanced problems as a first step. We need to be able to find the oxidation numbers to do the problems. We have to make sure we know how to do this. Let's take a look at page 68. Jackpot. All right, so here are all of the ions that you're expected to know from the first semester. They've got some of the ones we just went over, like cyanide and hydroxide. Would you be able to find NO3 here? Mm -hmm. yeah, here's NO3, which is negative. Or if you needed uh, SO3, that's negative 2. Or sulfate is SO4. So here in this earlier chapter, they have all of the oxo anions, all the, the common polyatomic ions. Here you have this table. So you might have to look some of these up. Um, uh, so notice this is not saying that, uh, so the, this thing tells you the charge on the ion as a group. Right. And these are not charges you can figure out in the periodic table. You have to have that memorized or look at the map. So that mm -hmm. was on page 68 of your book. It looks like you have that mark from an earlier semester. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So, uh, good. Use some more practice on those, yeah. uh, but maybe you won't spend more of our time on that. But you yeah. should definitely try more practice on those on your own because that's an important skill for the more yeah. complicated problems here as well. But let's, let's try to move on to isomerism. 